What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, we're doing a big shopping haul of both thrifted and new items. I recently went to Los Angeles. My husband Everett's company is based in Los Angeles and so we get to go and visit his office a few times a year and so we just went and I went shopping while I was there. I was staying in in the Hollywood area and did a ton of shopping while I was there. Also, I just wanna let you guys know this is gonna be a super casual little like chatty video. I have my uh, Coke Zero here. I have some jelly bellies that I got the other day. But first to start off this video, I did want to start off with the sponsor of today's video, which is my very favorite Dossier perfumes. You guys know I have worked with them for several years now. It's because I love them so much and I love collecting their fragrances. And my new addiction is now getting different fragrances for Everett as well. He has caught the like cologne fragrance lover bug from me and it's been really fun to share that with him. He smells good all the time now, which I absolutely love. If you guys somehow have never heard me talk about Dossier before, they are a fragrance company that is cruelty free and they make inspired by scents of some of the most popular niche and luxury designer fragrances. And you guys, I have some good ones today to share with you. So starting off with Everett's, I ended up getting Musky Oak Moss right here. It has pineapple, apple, bergamot, birch leaf, a little bit of rose, musk, oak moss, and amber. This scent is an inspired by scent from Creed Aventus, which is an insanely expensive fragrance for men. It smells a little citrusy, but also kind of like that oak moss and deeper, almost woody smell to it. It smells so manly and so good. I really like the note of oak moss. So yeah, he has been rocking this one recently. Their scents usually fluctuate from $29 to $49, but comparatively to Creed Aventus, no comparison. Way more affordable, same smell. And then you guys, this next one is actually a repurchase for me because I love this scent so much that I wanted to get a backup. <laughs> but I actually ended up wearing this one today and getting a compliment on it from someone in the grocery store, which was really nice. He walked by and said, you smell absolutely amazing. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> so this one right here is Ambery Cherry and it is inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which is a very like boozy, deep cherry scent. I feel like cherry scents are really popular this summer. It has cherry, almond, cinnamon, clove, jasmine, plum, tonka bean, vanilla, and Peru balsam. And I didn't realize this because I actually had never smelled Tom Ford Lost Cherry when I got the first one, my first bottle of this. But you guys, they smell identical. Like, once I smelled the Tom Ford in store, I was like, oh my gosh, dossier, like no difference in the smell. I know that some fragrances don't last quite as long, but this one, I feel like I get a full six hours wear out of it. And I am team over sprayer, so if you guys are not getting a long wear, I definitely say just give it a few more spritzes and people will smell you and it'll last. Also a little update from Dossier is they do have a new payment method that lets you earn store credit. So if you select catch at the checkout process, you end up earning $10 as a sign on bonus credit and then you get rewarded with 10% store credit on every order. So if you're already shopping, saving money on getting the inspired by fragrance and then you also get a little bit of store credit to eventually earn another fragrance in the future. So I just want to say thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring this video and working with me, supporting my channel here. I really appreciate companies that are willing to invest in me and my channel so I can continue making videos for you guys like this. So thank you so much Dossier, definitely check them out down below. I have a coupon code. My coupon code had expired for a minute, but it's back. So if you guys have been waiting to get some fragrances, check them out down below. Hmm. Sorry, quick candy break. I try not to eat sugar very often, but when I do, it's such a treat. So good. Okay, like I said, I stayed in Hollywood area and I walked down to Hollywood Boulevard. So I did end up going to Marshall's, Forever 21, Sephora, and some vintage shops. What I got from Marshall's was this little t-shirt right here. Super cute. It is a tie-dye men's shirt and it is sublime. I am a fan of Sublime. I actually want to go see them this summer. They are touring right now and 
So I think I might go to the concert. It was only $12.99. I like to wear these type of shirts with not only shorts and jeans, but also like biker shorts too. All right, I also went to Forever 21. And I just got two little things. Actually, one of them I'm wearing right now. And they are these little gold hoop earrings with all of these little studded beads kind of on the hoop. I like a fun little like bling bling gold hoop. And so, yeah. I just ended up getting those. I think that they were around like $6.99-ish, $7. And then this little tank top shirt right here was on sale from $17.99 all the way down to $5. They had like a $5 bin where you could like rummage through. Just like a little cream white, very stretchy material uh, little top. It has kind of a bit of a textured pattern in the material. I feel like I can never get enough a little white tank top. So that was great for $5. I know I can talk a lot. Um, I did end up doing TikToks while I was in Los Angeles. So I have one from Marshalls that I did a bunch of try on on stuff. And then I also did one from Iguana Vintage that I went to. And then I also did one from when I went thrifting, which is what I'll show you guys in a little bit. But if you guys want to see those videos, they are on my TikTok, which is in the description box down below. Just click the link. And if you guys aren't on TikTok, you guys, TikTok is amazing. I love TikTok. I resisted it for so long and now I'm like obsessed. I feel like it is the best social media platform. <laughs> okay, I ended up getting this Bob Marley shirt at Iguana Vintage. I think that it was $16. This is the Bob Marley shirt that I ended up finding. I just love that it has like the Rasta colors and all of like the graphics around the sides. Uh, he's smoking a doobie there, which I think is pretty cool. I've seen a lot of Bob Marley graphic tees, but I've never ever seen this specific uh, graphic. So I thought that that was really special as well. Very cool. I'd heard a lot about the Grove in LA. It was like an outdoor shopping mall that's very pretty. And so I ended up getting a lift ride over there and checking it out. And so I did end up going into my favorite mall store, Zara. <laughs> I got these cute little tank tops. Sorry that they are wrinkly because I have had this stuff in a pile for a week or two now. It's super stretchy, really nice, and I love this pretty like periwinkle blue purple color. These ones were relatively affordable. I like all their basics. $10.90, $11. Yeah, I really like H&M and Zara for their basics. And then I also got the exact same one in white. So yeah. Getting one other thing from Zara, tan straight leg cargo pants with these cute pockets. I know I've been talking about it forever, but I love pants with these square pockets with side pockets and the butt looks like this. I would say that they are true to size and these were $45.90 and I'm just really, really, really enjoying this like cargo pant thing going on right now. I saw they also sell these in white which I liked, but I wish they came in like a green and maybe like a brown and a gray. Excited to wear them now that I've shown you guys. Oh, I forgot, I also got this graphic tee at Marshalls, sorry. It's another men's t-shirt and it's just a little Playboy t-shirt. It has the Playboy bunny on the front pocket there or like the front corner. And then the graphic on the back just says Playboy a bunch of times. I just think it's very cute and I love the Playboy shirts. Hi Ziggy. I love you, baby. Yes, I love you. Okay, kisses. Kisses after you had some lunch. Why don't you come lay down? All right, you guys, Ziggy has joined. What are you doing, Zig? He wants my jelly beans. After I went to Zara in the Grove, I saw that there was a Goodwill within walking distance. So I walked over to the Goodwill. I love doing that because I feel like it gives me inspiration on to like what's really stylish right now and then that's fresh in my mind when I go to the thrift store and that's what I did. You guys ended up watching that really short video that I put out um, maybe like last week. You probably have already seen all of this stuff so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself but you could just fast forward. <laughs> Track pants, the kind that make a bunch of noise like this. I've been noticing that these are really in. A brand called Parachute. Uh, has a lot of TikTok ads and girls wearing them and they're very, very cute. And so I was inspired by that. I've also seen a lot of these in store at the mall brands as well. So these are just a really high-waisted pair. They have a side pocket. I got a lot of bottoms this day. 
I also ended up finding this really fun little white skirt right here. I don't love the length of it, so I think I'm going to sew it. So I might cut it or like do some of that like liquid stitch glue. This material is almost like a t-shirt material, like a cotton. I thought it would be really cute. Styled with a graphic tee. I don't remember the prices of any of this stuff because I have already taken everything off and washed it. But I will say that this Goodwill was kind of expensive and they didn't have any mirrors or dressing rooms. So it's really hard to know what's gonna fit you. I got this interesting vintage skirt from the brand Paul Revere. It is gray and brown with this interesting little like floral pattern, if you guys can see. And yeah, something about it I just liked. I kind of liked the, the colors together, the gray with the brown and the pattern. I don't love that it's velvet, to be honest. I wish it was like silk instead of velvet, but I thought it was cool. I found this in the men's section. It is a Rolling Stones graphic tee, and this one is long sleeve. And then look at the graphic on the back, you guys. So cool. The No Filter Tour 2021. And I absolutely love that graphic. That is so awesome. So yeah, I was stoked on that. I found Carhartts. They were in the women's section. They were new with tags, but they're size eight. I'm not a size eight, but I've been looking for Carhartts at the thrift store for so long and I never find them. So I was like, oh, maybe I can make them work. And honestly, I think I could have made them work if they were a size six, but the size eight is just a little bit too big for me. If you guys are size eight and have been looking for black Carhartts that are brand new, like these were new with tags on them. And so I only tried them on the ones to realize that they were too big. Moving right along, this is so cute. Sorry if you guys can hear my neighbor, he's practicing his drums right now. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can still hear me. Okay, so I ended up finding this super cute skirt right here from the brand Bongo. I absolutely love the brand Bongo. When I find it in store, I get so excited because I just feel like I really love their brand in general. And what was funny is because I was at Zara earlier, I had seen a bunch of skorts. They had a ton of skorts at Zara. And so I just thought that it was so funny that I ended up finding a really cute one that I liked right after I saw the ones in Zara. I just love it and I'm excited to wear it. And I like that the back has no butt pockets. Also in the denim category, I found these pants right here, jeans, and I wasn't sure if they were gonna fit since I couldn't try them on at that Goodwill, but it turns out they do. They are kind of like more wide leg. They don't have any front pockets. The butt pockets I think are cute with this one little button on the one side. And John Galt, which is sold at Brandy Melville, I'm pretty sure. And I think that they're pretty cute on. I also found another pair of track pants, but these ones have the uh, like traditional little like track pant stripe going down the sides right there. And these ones are vintage. And yeah, I feel like they've been broken into perfection. They're super comfy and I think they're cute. So I got those. Last two things I got in Los Angeles at the Goodwill was this cute little rib knit, super low, um, v-neck tank top. This is originally from H&M. I liked the super low v-neck. It would be cute with maybe like a lacy bra peeking out, tucked into some jeans or like a skirt or something. I think these might be children's pants, but they fit me to where I can wear them. They're a bit small, but I'm gonna make them work. They're also a little short, so they're kind of like a capri length on me, which I don't normally love a capri length. I wish they were full length but they're not, but I had to get them from this pattern. Stretchy waistband. This would look so cute with a graphic like this with the Playboy graphic tee and some chunky shoes. Yes, but I loved that little like funky zigzag pattern. And next up, I ended up getting this awesome package while I was gone from Skylar Beauty. They make a bunch of fragrances that are sold in like Sephora. And I have several of them now. I think I have like five or six of their fragrances and they just recently came out with brand new launches. So this one right here is called Urban Rose. They did send this to me for review to show you guys. This has pink pepper, amber, and rosewood. And see that? That's exactly what it smells like. This fragrance 
smells like a deep you know like those roses that are like deep red almost black like burgundy red that's what this smells like at least on the opening like very rose but not grandma rose it's like a very sensual deep red feminine rose if you guys can go to sephora and smell this one i definitely would say to try it out Ooh, I saw that Sol de Janeiro came out with new body mists. Sorry, you guys. I love fragrance. I really want to try them out. Jelly bean break. On Wednesdays, I go to therapy, and then afterwards, I go to my Goodwill. A few cute little things in there yesterday. This little tank top um, halter top. I got this cute little halter top right here in this navy blue striped colors just from Brandy Melville. $3.99. I also found this cute little tube top bralette thing. It's not going to cover much on me personally, but I think it'd be cute to layer underneath like a button down or something. It was only $2.99 and it's from Skylar and Madison. I got this workout cropped zip up situation right here in this gray color. And yeah, I like a zip up that is cropped like that. And this one was $6. I don't remember if I showed you guys this one, but I got this stuff at my local thrift store. And I could have shown you this maybe in a different haul, but I'm not remembering. So if I'm repeating myself, forgive me. It is this blue, almost like sporty tennis looking dress. Beautiful lavender purple periwinkle thing that we're talking about. It was... $2 and it's from the brand International Newport Garment, ING. I also found this beautiful silk scarf. It is very soft and it is a really beautiful tropical Hawaiian hibiscus print. I like to wear these as shirts or all sorts of things in the summertime and I think I maybe did show you guys this but I'm not sure. And it's from Club 7 Echo. And then last little things here is a Volcom Stone right here. And it's very funny because it's meant to be inside out like that. Like the graphic is actually on the inside of the shirt. It kind of like this like faded look. Kind of also reminds me of the Sublime logo. The sun. And then this is the last thing I ended up getting. It was this cute little, it was this utility bag right here kind of a browny khaki greeny kind of color I'm not really sure very cute has this buckle going on here and some little things this was three dollars okay last thing I did end up going to Goodwill today because I was looking for canvases to do art on and you don't have to buy them new you can just buy a canvas at the thrift store and then paint over it which is what I like to do and so I got a canvas and I also got two pieces of jewelry. Line of crystals or fake diamonds or whatever right there on a gold band. And I just paired it on this finger because it's the only one that fits. And then I also got this cute little fake turquoise cuff bangle. And it has a fake turquoise there in the middle with some feathers coming off the side. So yeah, I got that one for $7. The ring was $3 and the cuff was $7. And that's everything I ended up getting, you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging in here the whole time. <laughs> if you guys made it to the end of the video, comment down below what your favorite flavor of Jelly Belly is, if you like Jelly Bellies. If you don't like Jelly Bellies, then I don't know. Just say I don't like Jelly Bellies. But if you do, comment down below your favorite flavor. I really, out of this bag, I really liked the flavor, the cantaloupe. I like the sour ones too. All right, you guys, I love you so much and I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are finding amazing thrifted things. I hope you guys are finding cute outfits for summer and check out Dossie if you haven't already. You guys, I'm telling you that Lost Ford cherry, ambery cherry scent is amazing. I got compliments. I got chased down in the grocery store today and told I smell amazing. So it's always a good day when you get a genuine compliment. All right, you guys, love you so much. See you next time. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.